Hello everyone, Taras here. Welcome to another episode of our running series, What is a Coral? This is a series where we talk about and we try and break down all the different corals that you can shop at at our shop and try and chop them up into little digestible families and then even genuses. That way when you walk into the store, you have a greater idea of what you're looking at and therefore have a much greater chance of success and having a great time. That's what we're all about here at OSA. Today uh, is our first coral family. We're gonna be talking about the Xenidae. So the Xenidae uh, contains a bunch of different uh, genuses, but we're gonna be just talking primarily about the Xenia, the Heterozenia, and uh, the Anthelia. What makes these corals so unique are a few different things. One, they're relatively shallow water corals, so they're a lot more able to withstand red and white spectrums of light than some of the deeper water corals. They radiate out from Eastern Africa all throughout the Indian Ocean and then out into the Indo-Pacific area. But the Red Sea is noted for having a huge uh, diversity of these corals. A couple things that make them unique is that when they spawn sexually, even though they branch and expand asexually really, really aggressively, when they spawn asexually, the female actually takes in the sperm, at least with Xenia, and retains it, and then they'll actually give birth to full planula as opposed to uh, broadcasting the eggs. When it comes to aquariums, these are a very uh, popular species because they are so relatively hardy. Many corals are a little bit more difficult to keep, especially when you have rising levels of nutrients like nitrates and phosphates. Xenia, that's not so much of an issue because it is what we call a photosynthetic powerhouse. Specifically with Xenia, as opposed to Anthelia and some of the other members of this family, you'll notice that they have a lot of myrofibrils and they're able to move constantly. They're able to pulse. And that fascinated scientists for years. Why do they pulse? You know, that seems so energetically costly. And what they think now is that because the, the Xenia pulse, they're able to control both the water flow and the light flow entering in and out of their feeding head there. And that will make their photosynthetic rates exponentially more efficient than many other mechanisms that other corals have. So just because they've spread across the world, relatively shallow water corals, and they have that pulsing action, all right, let's see if they're so tough if they're in the wild, but let's see if any of that has any fact in the aquarium. So let's check in with Eli in the trenches. Hello everyone, Eli again here to show you some up closes of some of the family uh, Xenidae, which includes the pulsing Xenia, which is one of the most classic soft corals in the aquarium hobby, as well as this big Anthelia here. As you see, our lagoon tank here at OSA is loaded with the softies, especially Anthelia, which is just a really cool beginner coral. As much as it is not the most bright coral on earth with this kind of pinkish um, complexion to it, it's a really quick grower so it makes it a great representative for some of the beginner hobbyists or some of the hobbyists that really want an easy low maintenance tank. Any of the Xenia family really quick growers. Generally uh, they're tolerant of a wide condition of light conditions from lower light to really high light and they range with the flows as well. They don't need the cleanest water to grow and actually kind of thrive in dirtier tanks. So I've, I've seen on occasion, some people with very clean tanks have, have trouble keeping Anthelia Xenia alive just because they need such a high nutrient requirement in the way of nitrogen and phosphorus in order to uh, continue growing. But as you can see here, we have a big colony of Anthelia, nice waving coral. Sometimes it's known as the waving hand coral. It again is one of the true soft corals. All of these each have eight tentacles per polyp. So they're a type of octocoral, which is a true soft coral. In terms of care, uh, they're really not that picky. And they're anything that a, a real beginner aquarist could, could add to their tank. Generally, we like to recommend uh, if you do not want this sort of coral to take over because it is such a fast grower, to kind of keep it on its own piece of rock. So whether it's Xenia or Anthelia, keeping them on their own secluded island, uh, a single rock or a couple rocks apart from your main rock structure is gonna help to make sure that these do not take over the rest of the rock work and uh, smother some of the rest of your corals because they grow so quickly. Thank you, Eli. And just as Eli said, the members of the Xenidae, really robust, good, easy beginner coral, probably because they really don't mind that phosphate and nitrate level, which most early aquarists run into. One of my favorite applications of this coral family working as a service tech here at the OSA is being able to put members of the Xenia and the Anthelia into big uh, predatory and monster fish tanks that normally would have to be fish only, but with the exception of some of the more ravenous species of marine angelfish and some of the, the bigger, more aggressive marine butterfly fish, 
most fish will leave Xenia and Anthelia alone. Not all fish, but most fish. So they're a really great option to have in some of these bigger predatory tanks. One of my favorite service clients accounts has a massive dog faced puffer fish, you know, queen angel, and a bunch of other big, mean predatory fish. And it has a robust colony of Anthelia and Xenia that's not only thriving, but sucking up all of the nitrates and phosphates that are the necessary uh, hallmarks of having just big fish around in a small tank. So thank you so much for joining us for another episode of What is a Coral? Join me and Eli next week when we discuss the star polyps. Um, as always, uh, comment, like, subscribe, feed that algorithm like it was a hungry Xenia sucking up nitrates, and visit us at oshoice.com for all your coral shopping needs. Thank you.